morning all or I say morning afternoon all Mills and Wheels here welcome to the channel in today's episode I'm taking out the Royal Enfield Himalayan now the main reason for this video is should I buy one and if it was just so this is the third test ride I've had of this bike um, so obviously I like the bike I, in fact I love the bike every every time I get on this bike it just it it makes me smile it just makes me grin from ear to ear so um, it's, it's more down to obviously on a test ride you're only having the bike for say 45 minutes so I, I can't gauge whether I'll love it long term <laughs> um, and I, I think that's that's the that's the difficult question for me. So sh should I buy one? Because uh, I want a tour, and I've I've seen on YouTube people do tour on these. Um, so I I know it can be done. Um, obviously, they're 411 cc. They're they're a single cylinder. They output 24 brake horsepower at six and a half thousand rpm. Uh, I, th I believe the wet weight is 199 kilos. So yeah, should I buy one? I'll, t I'll tell you a bit of uh, biking history, just in case uh, you've not seen any uh, previous videos. So yeah, a bit of biking history. Uh, I have uh, right now Suzuki Van Van RV125. And I also have, uh, oh sorry, uh, and I also had a Ducati Multistrada uh, V2S, uh, which I've actually now uh, sold due to having a, a little one on the way um, and I just didn't want the uh, outgoings uh, basically I had the Ducati Multistrader on PCP um, and I just I want something cheaper where this is where the Royal Enfield Hemi comes in as I say it, it's just a, a brilliant fun bike to ride I just really enjoy it I, th I think the only thing that sort of that I'm questioning it on is when you sort of say if you're going up to Scotland and doing the uh, doing the NC 500 uh, well not even the NC 500 say you're, you're doing a distance you want to travel a bit of distance in the day so you need to get on the motorway can it do it can, can it do it for a, a prolonged amount of time um, I believe well on one of my other test rides uh, I went on the motorway and it, it did 77 but obviously I, you don't want to ride at 77 miles an hour all the time because that, that, that is his top speed or it was the top speed of that one that I was test riding so obviously you would you would have to probably cruise at 65-70 but yeah going through villages just plods along it's just really nice nice relaxing you, you're not eager to get anywhere on this and it, it but that's a nice feeling I, I used to have a uh, Triumph Street Triple um, I mean yeah I know totally different bike but I just felt like I had to go everywhere fast but on this you don't need to you just plod about and you're happy puts a smile on your face right folks I'm just going to do a little bit of a motorway test now as I say I have took on the motorway before but uh, just so I've uh, got a recording of it and I can sort of look back on it Right, just about to uh, join the dual carriageway now. Gonna start easing on the throttle. Up to 50. I'm not fully pegging it, but 60. goes up to five gears but that's fine didn't have my visor shut sorry for the uh, wind noise there as I say it's, it's it's up to 70 now or just up to 70 uh, 70 at 5,000 rpm uh, just over 5,000 rpm I'm gonna stick at 70 now because uh, what I forgot to mention is me uh, well unless you've seen in the mirror my dad's on the classic 350 so I don't want to be um, I don't want to be too much in front of him actually I'll start slowing down now but as you can see that comfortably goes up to 70 and um, 
I'll be happy with that. As I say, I've, I've took one out before um, and gone up to uh, 77, which was which was ringing it ringing its nuts a bit there. Uh, sorry, before it was ringing its nuts a bit. So uh, 70 is comfortable. At 60 is even more comfortable. It's only doing four and a half thousand RPM. Yeah, lovely bike. So I think the question for you really, I don't think it's the question for me, should I buy one? The question is, should I buy one? But that's actually a question to you, because I, I, I want to try and hear from some people that actually have Himalayans, if possible, just to, just to see what they think about it long term. Because as I say, I've only had three test rides on this, each one at, say, 45 minutes to an hour. And obviously from the test rides, you can't gauge whether can't gauge whether you're always going to be happy with that power like am I going to get bored of the power I don't know because obviously I had a Ducati Multi Strider V2S before um, and also with the people I ride with the people I ride with uh, one's got a Tiger 1200 one's got a Tiger 900 and the other guy's got a Honda NT 1100 so are they going to get bored <laughs> do you know what I mean don't get me wrong it's the most of the roads we go on apart from the motorways where we're where when we're on tour trying to get to places we're only going 50 most roads are 50 these days anyway so yeah we'll see just taking in uh, just taking in some back roads now lovely nice and cruising at 50 55 mile an hour Dad in tow on the classic 350. Sun is shining, couldn't get better. Now I've taken the, um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I've taken the Suzuki RV125 uh, from Land's End to John O'Groats in 26, uh, in 26 hours non-stop. So I'm used to a long slog. I'm, I'm used to going at 55 miles per hour, top speed. Uh, and obviously this does about 77 miles per hour to 75 to 75 to 80 miles per hour top speed so <laughs> okay yes I had the Ducati Multistrada but it's not like I'm not used to going slower does that make sense um, but it, it's just long term whether I would be used to that I mean it's not a slow bike I mean it is what it's 24 brake horsepower but as I say it puts a smile on my face every time I'm on it I think it's just whether when I go on tour with the lads and as I say on the Tiger 900 1200 and the Honda NT 1100 whether it's frustrating for them and I don't want it to be bad on the classic 350 I think he's enjoying it the only thing we said was we'd probably uh, take off uh, the back seat. I think it looks smarter with just the one single seat on it. Just need a rack then. We're we'll well away. Yeah, I think you'd need to have to change the helmet though. Something that's a bit more retro. <laughs> Don't quite go. <laughs> So what's the conclusion then? I want one. <laughs> I definitely want one. But should I buy one? Um, yeah, I, I, I think I should buy one. But I think I need your help. Should I buy one? Does anyone have a Himalayan that's watched this video that believes that I wouldn't get bored of the lack of power? Because I don't, I don't think I will. Because as I say, I've I've rode the Suzuki RV125 a lot. Um, so yeah, please, please help me. Also, uh, I'd like to say thank you to Haywards today for uh, letting me and my dad take uh, take the uh, Himalayan out and the 350 Classic out for a test ride. It's really appreciated. Lovely guys there. But no, thank you. Right, I think uh, I think that's this one wrapped up, and I'll. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you in a bit.